I would like to extend my gratitude to the leadership of SOAS and the entire SOAS community for your gracious decision to confer upon me an honorary doctoral degree. My life has been enriched so deeply by my service as president of SOAS and my cup overflows with this additional recognition from this community, which I hold so dear. I accept this honorary doctor of laws with profound humility and my sincere appreciation. And as a member of the SOAS family, and as a women's and children's rights advocate, I would be remiss if I did not couple my gratitude with a call to action for us here today. The world we find ourselves in is one of the most complex in human memory. COVID has left no one untouched by its devastation and disrupted humanity in ways yet unknown. I'm no diplomat, so I will not mince my remarks today. The so-called global recovery has not been global, nor a recovery at all. Millions of people, particularly in the global South, are still suffering from the clashes of COVID and burying loved ones at alarming rates. Reconstruction efforts are failing women and children across the globe, particularly in the global South. Painful chasms of inequities between the haves and the have-nots are intensifying right before our eyes on a daily basis. Hundreds of millions of people are falling into extreme poverty and we are confronted with the worst rise in income inequality in recorded history. Worse still, humanity has at its disposal the safe and effective life-saving vaccines that can end the biggest health crisis in a century. And yet, vaccines are being hoarded by the world's wealthiest countries and financing is insufficient for facilities dedicated to supplying the entirety of the international community, leaving the global South behind. Everyone should have the same chance, the same hope, the same blessing of resilience to the virus. But seeing nationalism is a moral bankruptcy at its height. We must recognize the vaccine is a human right for everyone, no matter our birthplace on this planet. All this said, I see a glimmer of hope as I think of souls. We are an internationally recognized research university and the world's leading institution for the study of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. I encourage you to be the progressive thought leaders and innovators this part of the world need you to be. To students, educators, administrators, and alumni alike, push for equality where there is imbalance and speak truth to power. You are well positioned to lead a movement of stellar legal minds, scientists, researchers, activists, and entrepreneurs to start anew in our challenging context and identify ways in which we can recover from the devastation we are experiencing and emerge more resilient, vibrant, and equal. Let it be at SOAS, where the world knows brilliant minds are coming together and dedicating themselves to rectifying the injustices of inequality and providing the innovative tools and know-how to rebuild our world 
into a more just and equitable one. Whether it advances in technologies to ensure Africa can manufacture its own vaccines or offering fresh approaches to conflict resolution in the Middle East or ending child labor and child marriage in many parts of Asia and Africa, disrupt systems and pursue business as unusual. And as you do so, I encourage you to meaningfully put women and children at the heart of your efforts. Speak to life, the aspirations and the challenges of your fellow Africans, Middle Easterners and Asians. Now, more than ever, we need to make heard the voices of the ignored and reverse the unhealthy power imbalances we have lived with for far too long. Ours is the task to bring to bear a powerful spirit of global solidarity. I look forward to keeping abreast of the phenomenal contributions that SOAS will continue gift to the world. Please accept my heartfelt appreciation once again for this honorary degree, which I will carry with pride. I'm so grateful to be a part of SOAS and feel so fortunate that SOAS will always be a part of me. I thank you.